Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Thank you so much for staying with us here on Park City Television. You heard the fantastic music from Dan, Megan, and Juliet Bascom just a little while ago. And right now I'm joined by her father, John Bascom. John, how are you doing? Good. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. with, uh, joining us here on the Mountain Sh Morning Show. We're here to talk specifically about the Wasatch Mountain Music Festival, which is coming up at Zermatt Resort mm -hmm. over in uh, Midway area. Mm -hmm. And um, we were able to kind of get a little sample of some of the music that will be kind of featured there. There. Your daughter Juliet will be playing actually yes, there at the festival. Mm -hmm. Let's go over the details of the Wasatch Mountain Music Festival. Well, it's festival. this Friday and Saturday at uh, Zermatt Resort there in Midway. And it's from 10 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. Wow. Friday, Friday and Saturday. Constant music, so it's going to be wonderful. Quite a party there yeah. all day long. 12 hours of live yeah. music on Friday and Saturday, so some really amazing uh, m musical uh, talents that are going to be showcased from not just the state of Utah, but kind of all over as oh, well. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We have uh, Claire Lynch and Lori Lewis and the wow. Cold, Cold Creek and uh, Blue Sage and, and Sammy Brew and the and the grinders, and so we have local and uh, distant uh, bands coming in. That's fantastic, so and, and if you're a fan of, of folk music, if you're a fan of bluegrass, Americana mm -hmm. style music, this is gonna be the absolute place that you wanna be this weekend for sure. Oh, absolutely, and music. then we, we have also workshops, so if you wanna learn from some really? of these folks, they're all one-on-one -on -one teaching here. And, Teach uh, you as well. Oh, Can yes. this be someone who's never picked up oh, an yeah. instrument before? Absolutely, that's why we want, every, everyone's invited. Really, so the goal is almost, it sounds like, to really spread the love of this yeah. music. It is. It is. It's a wonderful event. So uh, a rare event. And, and coming from a musical, uh, and a musician yourself, mm -hmm. obviously, and coming from a musical family, right. uh, what does this mean to you to spread this this music and to spread this genre around and, and the love of it around? Well, music is a wonderful thing. It's kind of a universal language, and it's just a. Uh, it's exciting. It's so, exciting to be yes. able to. It, I agree. It's exciting to be able to have um, a music festival of this caliber here oh, in our backyard, especially in the beautiful uh, location and uh, venue that is Zermatt. It is. Obviously, it's it's gorgeous in that area. Um, right. What are? Let's talk about ticket prices and how people can get get a hold of those. And, and well, you can go online, uh, uh, Wasatch Mountain Music Festival, and uh, and it's and get them online or you can get them at the door. At the door as well? Yeah. Excellent. $35 at the door. but uh, Is this a, just something count. you guys expect to sell out or, or should, should Well, we're hoping to, yeah. We, this is our fifth year here in, the, in, Mid in Midway area and this is an outdoor event and uh, beautiful venue. So, uh, and wonderful musicians and opportunity here to And the weather enjoy. should be oh, the weather great should be, as well. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to be too hot, which is perfect. We get a little bit of a break from the heat with the uh, end of this week. But I, I want to encourage everyone to head to the website and buy tickets right away exactly. because you don't want to miss out and make it to the door and maybe not be able to get That's a ticket right. if it does sell out because you are going to miss out on some really, really great music and some very talented musicians from right here in the state of Utah and some great acts from all over the country as well. Uh, John, is there anything else that we well, should cover? Well, just uh, an example, uh, Megan and, and Juliet that just played. Megan won first in the championship for the state, and Juliet won second. That's so, so great. There you have it, some local talent. It's, it's wonderful talent. Some, some wonderful talent, yeah. absolutely. And, and specifically, you're talking about the fiddle competition right. here in Utah that mm -hmm. was hosted just about a week or so right. ago. Uh, Megan mm -hmm. taking first place. Congratulations to her. Juliet taking second. So uh, if you want to see some fabulous musicians, really, make your way right. down to Zermatt this Friday and Saturday for the Wasatch Mountain Music Festival. It's the fifth annual, as you said. It is. So quite a legacy you guys are it building is. over there at Zermatt. It is. It's great. Fantastic. John, thank you so thank much you. for coming on and sharing the wonderful news that this is going to be continuing on for its fifth year. Head over to the Wasatch Mountain Music Festival and their website to pick up some tickets for this weekend. I highly encourage you, as I said, to do so before you head down on Friday or Saturday because tickets may sell out fast and you mm -hmm. won't want to miss out on that. We'll be right back with much more right here on the Mountain Morning Show. Thank you. Welcome back here to the Mountain Morning Show. You heard their fantastic music playing behind me just recently, but now we get to meet these fantastic artists. Right now I have Juliet with me, Megan and Dave. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for doing coming great. on. Great. Excellent. Yeah. Let's learn a little bit more about you guys before we hear you guys' awesome music. Juliet, okay. uh, you guys have been, both of you, Megan and Juliet, have been playing music for quite a while now. Yeah. Uh, you come from a, a, a musical family, is that right? I do, yeah. I started playing when I was about three or four years old. Um, starting on the mandolin, and then I moved to the violin when I was about five, I think. And so I've been playing for a while. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> How about you, Megan? Um, kind of the same thing, musical family. I started when I was seven, almost eight. 
21 now. And 21 so. now. So you guys have a, a lot of years under your guys' belt. You guys, it sounds like you guys do. You guys are really, really great at what you do. Let's talk about why you chose uh, the fiddle over some other instruments. I know that it's not really the most typical mainstream instrument right now, but obviously we need many artists who are going to stay proficient in this, and you guys are doing just that. So let's talk about why you guys chose uh, the fiddle. Um, well, I grew up in a musical family, like I said, and everyone was choosing an instrument. Both my older sisters play, and my one sister chose the mandolin, my other sister chose the guitar. So I was like, I'll play the I fiddle. I gotta play the fiddle then. <laughs> I gotta fill in that other spot. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Juliet? Um, I, I also like grew up in a musical family, like you said, and um, my mom always played the Celtic woman, you know, okay. and I saw yeah. the fiddle player, and she had this long blonde hair, and I was like, <laughs> I want to be like her, and I just... Um, I was around bluegrass festivals and stuff, and the violin just really inspired me. So influenced from a young age, both yeah. kind of musically and stylistically, mm -hmm. by your parents and your guys' families. That's fantastic. Dave, surprisingly, Dave picked up the guitar about a month ago. Is that right? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Dave, you've been playing for quite a long time. You're here to accompany years, this young... Before you were born. Before I'm born, I'm sure, <laughs> yes. And you guys all sound fantastic together. I want to just let you guys play right now. So I'm going to step away. You guys take it away. Welcome back here to the Mountain Morning Show. At Lucky You, we have some really great musicians with us today in studio. And if you're not impressed, then you must not be awake. It's time to grab another cup of coffee for sure. We're having a great time here in the studio. Dave was just educating me uh, on the history of these songs. They're, they're very, uh, kind of have a long history to them, and especially in fiddle competitions. Do you want to just talk about that a little bit, Dave? Well, uh, uh, these are the ones that are the most uh, knowledgeable about this, except that I have been around longer, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, my son used to compete, and uh, a lot of these uh, songs that you hear in fiddle contests are pretty traditional songs, Okay, and uh, they've been around for a long time, and uh, different fiddlers put different emphasis on the different parts of it, and it's what makes it so interesting. Okay, so stylistically, you guys can kind of put emphasis on different parts of the song, be it the melody or or a what ha what have you. So, what, what really do you like to do with the songs? Do you guys like to play with them in certain specific ways that are unique to your guys' styles, or? 
I'd say so. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the fun of it is taking a song that everyone knows and kind of making it your own. Yeah. That's awesome. So. That's really, really fun. Like uh, adding different ornaments and stuff. And, and what is an ornament? Things. Explain to our viewers what that would be. Um, so, like, normally I could play Yeah, example. please do. So, for this song, that's kind of like the basic just lead into the song. But okay. Like, Okay, so just adding a little flair like to it. A little, yeah. That's really fun. So you're really kind of almost like a jazz musician in a way, really kind of playing yeah. with it. Yeah, it's very it's, your it, it's not a it's not a uh, set uh, format. Okay. It's it's more of a uh, jazz Out. type. Uh, Atmosphere. I noticed that in the way that you guys play with each other as well. It's very, you guys have to kind of adapt to what right. is happening on stage live, which I think is really, really cool. Let's talk about where people can keep up to date with your two, uh, you guys' music and where you guys are playing. Do you guys have an Instagram page that you guys like to, to kind of share? What, what is that? Um, so I'm personally like just working on my social media right now. Okay. Um, but I joined a new band called The Backyard Revival. Awesome. And so you can follow them. And, um, yeah, we're just posting new stuff, and we're getting into the social media thing, and we just did a couple videos yesterday and everything. That's so, awesome. Yeah. yeah, I'd love to keep up to date with you guys. How about you, Megan? Um, you can find me under FiddleChick098 okay. on Instagram, or just Megan Michelle Nay on Facebook. And I just joined a band. It's the Tara Shoop Band. Um, so I just joined her band, and we're just kind of... Awesome. Starting out. So. We'll definitely be sure to keep up to date with you guys because you guys are really, really talented musicians. Thank I love your guys' sound. What, what are you going to be playing for us next? Ookpik Waltz. Excellent. Take it away. <laughs>